So this video is going to give you a quick overview of how to use Google Groups. Google Groups are Google's answer to online forums and discussions. So it's a place where you can kind of pose questions, get feedback, and use as either an online discussion forum or as a listserv and receive emails from it. So you can interact in both uh, a space provided on Google or through your email. And the first thing you're going to need is a Google account. So if you don't have one, you can check out my previous video on how to make a Google account. And we're going to start by going again to the Google homepage. Once you get on the Google homepage, you're going to go to the right hand corner again and sign in with whatever email you picked for your Google account. And this will also be the email you'll receive updates from the Google group if you choose to receive email updates. You don't have to have email updates. And I'll show you about that in just a minute. So go to the More tab, go to Groups, and then you'll search for whatever group it is you're interested in. We're going to pick the Art House Convergence because I'm the manager of that group. Um, and it's private. So click Art House Convergence and it's private so you can apply for membership or contact the owner for questions you might have before applying for membership. Here you can set how frequently you want to receive emails um, or you don't have to receive them at all. So just read through those options um, and it'll explain them. This message part is important if you're not familiar with the person you're applying the group for. In this case, all you need is your name, the name of your theater, and thank you. You know, it's always nice to be thanked. So you'll click apply for, for the group, and you see here that you've requested to join and that the owner is going to review your membership. So I'm also going to show you the back end, since I'm the owner of this group, of what the owner sees when you've applied for membership. Um, and you will receive a notification that you've, your membership has been approved at your email. So this is what I see, and I just click Approve, Deny, Delete, or Ignore. I also see the message you sent me, and I'm going to approve, since I know who sent me this message. And then we're going to sign back in as some email 92 at AOL.com. And we're going to go to the, this is the account dashboard. You, can, you don't have to access groups. You can also access them by going through the More tab like we did the first time. Um, once we're here, this is the main group homepage. You can have more than one group, but we're just in the Art House Convergence right now. So we're going to open up this group, and you can see on in that main part, those are all the discussions that are occurring. Um, and you can click on any of those and view a discussion. And there's also, so if, when you click on them, you get this lovely little message board there, and you can also see all the members that are here. Now, if you want to change something about your membership, you go to the Edit My Membership tab. And here you can reset how frequently you receive email updates or if you receive them at all. Again, if you don't receive email updates, you just log into this group homepage and go and look through the discussions like I showed you. You can also unsubscribe if you just don't want to be in this group anymore. Remember to save these settings if you change your email settings. So we're going to, I'm going to show you, when you unsubscribe, this is what happens. You can't access the group. You can't be a part of it. So that's a very quick overview of the functionality and what you can do on Google Groups. Again, you kind of want to choose your email settings as to how frequently you want to interact with the Google Group and whether you prefer to see it in that more forum type dashboard that I showed you at the end or whether you want to receive everything that comes in as an email. I, I hope this was helpful and if you have any questions or comments please post them in the comments section. Thank you.